Here's the Carmignano 2013 from the Villa di Capezzana. This is an historic estate in Tuscany, in the Carmignano DOC. And Carmignano is not something you see every day, but it's, um, it's an interesting history in that it's um, like the first region in Tuscany where blending Cabernet Sauvignon with Sangiovese was, uh, was officially sanctioned. Um, you know, before all the super Tuscans, uh, there was Carmignano. <laughs> and in, in uh, the a other areas of Tuscany, blending in Cabernet wasn't allowed, so they had to make their wines label their wines as IGT wines. So Carmignano, uh, by law, at least 50% Sangiovese, then they're allowed to use up to 20% Cabernet. This one is actually 80% Sangiovese, 20% Cabernet Sauvignon, which is their sort of typical blend. Uh, they age it for 12 months. They use both the small barriques and the large, large barrels. So, a Super Tuscan with a DOCG. Oh, really beautiful nose on this. Well, 2013 was a really good, really good vintage, and so the wines had some nice time to age in the bottle and really come together and start to express a lot of the secondary aromas. So I'm getting those nice sort of menthol, leathery undertones, earthy, behind some really nice black currant, black cherry fruit, tobacco. Mm. Let's try it. Yeah. Really nice big flavors on this one. Lots of those black currant, black cherry notes, some nice chocolate notes on mid palate, and those tobacco-y, spicy, cedary nuances coming out. Um, supple, tannins have softened considerably, um, but it's still like pretty big, pretty mouth filling. So this is the wine that you know you might drink as an alternative to Bordeaux. Um, in a very similar style, match it up the same way you would with uh, lots of you know, hearty dishes, cheeses, that sort of thing. Um, but not something you see every day. Happy drinking. <laughs>